hello students welcome back to my class again so due to some technical problem I cannot uh, finish up the story in one video again I'm making this one so uh, finally what happened Albert Edward Foreman set up a new business of tobacconist and as a news agent so and uh, after completing one year being a businessman the new uh, thinking uh, new idea emerged in his mind again to open up the another one shop about the same object tobacco and news uh, and uh, sweets and at the same time news agent also so that's why uh, in a year he set up another one uh, shop by finding out the same long narrow street where there would be no shops for tobacco so and there he uh, appoint uh, and appoint uh, one manager who will look after the shop in absence of him so like that in a year he opened the two shop in the street of the london then uh, so after the second one again he uh, he started to look for uh, the long street which did not um, have a tobacco shop uh, in it and when he found it and a shop to let um, uh, he took uh, uh, he took it um, he took it and, and stock it this was also a success for him so like that one step one uh, step wise uh, he became success after success year so it uh, now the idea again came to in his mind that if he had been able to run two shops then why not more so like that he could run uh, now he determined his mind that if he had able to run two shops togetherly then he could run also the more shops mm, so like that uh, he opened up 10 shops totally and uh, so in the period of 10 years he had acquired no less than 10 shops and had earned mm, he earned uh, near about uh, lots of money he earned lots of money so uh, and uh, uh, every Monday he uh, used to visit in the 10 shops and collected all those money. So he personally uh, go to, the, uh, to those 10 shops and collected the money. And after that all those money he deposited to the bank every Monday. That is his daily uh, routine about the business purposes. So uh, one morning what happened after collecting all the savings uh, of uh, the month uh, from the 10 shops so he went directly to the bank with a heavy bag containing bundle of notes. So um, when he entered uh, uh, the bank at that moment the cashier of the bank told him that the manager of the bank wanted to meet him. So so as far as the cashier's information now Varjar went to meet the manager of the bank he entered inside the manager's room so when he entered the manager's office the manager shook hands with him the handshake to each other after meeting for the first time each other so the manager told him that he wanted to make a discussion about the money he had deposited in their banks. So he also asked Albert if he knew how much money, exactly how much amount of money he had already deposited in their bank. So Albert replied as a answer to manager like that, that it might not be a pound or two, but he had only a rough idea, not sure at all. I mean he don't know exactly how much money he has deposited till on that particular Monday so and after that you see the manager told him that uh, excluding the amount the amount he deposited on that particular Monday morning and his total deposit was a little over 30,000 pounds so now you imagine within 10 years he deposited 30,000 pounds 
the man who used to work as a butcher with a meager salary of a month and now he become the owner of 30,000 pounds rupees you you see here so um, so that that 30,000 pound was a very large sum of deposit and the manager asked him to invest all this money for better prospect so the at that moment when manager offered him to invest all those money in other sector instantly Farza replied him uh, that he did not want to take any risk and he thought that his money was safe only in the bank itself the manager told then um, and the manager told him that he should not have to take risk and would make him out a list of absolutely risk free securing which would bring him a better rate of interest than the bank has provided to him so totally 30000 pound money was deposited in the bank it's remained without any uses of the bank that's why the bank manager suggested him to invest all those money in other sector but at that moment Albert Edward Foreman was quite afraid of being an illiterate he don't know don't know even he has no belief about other sector he believed like that his mother his money would save only in the bank itself after all he has no idea about the sharing market here so then uh, then what happened Mr. Foreman or Albert, Edward Foreman seemed to be disturbed that uh, it was uh, reflected on his face. Uh, so when manager proposed to him like that, so he said that he had never had anything to do with uh, the share and uh, the stock. Share and the stock means he has no idea about all those and he had to leave all these things uh, on the hands uh, of the manager uh, the manager smiled and told him uh, uh, the manager at that moment smiled and told him that they would do everything so he would only require to sign the transfer when he would come next time in the visit in the bank so um, the verger replied to the manager that okay it's okay if you take all the responsibilities um, and if you say it so that my money would be safe in that sector also then I have no objection I have no problem he said to him like that then okay I can do everything and uh, but how can I know what I'm signing so at the same time he questions to him okay I will next whenever I will visit at the time I will put the signature but how could I know that what has been written on that particular piece of paper he asked to him like that so then you see very interesting uh, then manager said the manager said that he supposed the verger could read before signing manager told him okay before before putting your signature first of all you must read the paper what should written on a particular piece of paper then you would come to know yourself so in that way how the verger again replied to him you see here so but mr foreman uh, gave him a uh, this charming smile so he smiled just like that and uh, yes sir I am only telling you the truth now he is going to disclose his truth so he was an illiterate man that is is going to be disclosed to him here you see so he said so it sound very funny but it is a fact that what was that fact I cannot right i can write only my name so except that i didn't know how to read other letters so he informed him that he was an illiterate he know only how to put the signature except that he has no knowledge of the education he don't know how to read he don't know how to write other things he informed to the manager like that so after hearing this you see i can write only my name and it was also learned when I entered into the business. Albert Edward Foreman said to Mr. Bank Manager like that. So what was the reaction of the manager? You see, the manager was so surprised. And he jumped up from his chair. Uh, he exclaimed, 
that is the most extraordinary ever extraordinary thing I ever heard in my life when I just said like that oh Mr. Foreman what did you say you don't know how to read how to write means you are an illiterate person so being an illiterate how could you success and shine in your business now you're the owner of 30,000 pound rupees and that is not a bigger amount so being an illiterate how could you success so that question strike in the mind of the manager at that moment he was shocked after knowing his illiteracy so then the verger exclaimed him that he never had the opportunity and he got and he got so when he got the opportunity it was very late for him to learn how to read and how to write so in that way he remained an illiterate he informed to the manager like that and so the manager looked at him as if the verger was a monster I mean he, he was not a normal human being because what the power what the strength what the quality the verger have so it is uh, he has compared that uh, uh, all those uh, quality uh, with the monster only monster can do like that as the verger did in his life so he compared him like that and uh, at the same time he said that uh, so he uh, the verger is exactly like the monster from the prehistorical period he compared the virgin by saying so then the, again he asked him do you want to say that you have started important business and earned such an amount of money without knowing how to read and how to write the imagineer again asked him so god good man so first of all he has taken the God name, then again say, he, again he prays to him, good man, good man. If you had been able to know how to read and how to write, then what would you be? So he said like that, without knowing how to read and write, he can shine, which is not possible for every human being. If he would be a literate man, then what he would do? Or kya karte? अगर उनको पढ़ाई लिखाई आते तो और क्या ना करते सो दैट क्वेश्चन क्रिएटेड इन द मैनेजर्स माइंड एंड एट द सेम टाइम ही टोल टू मिस्टर फॉरमैन लाइक दैट सो ऑन द क्वेश्चन ऑफ दैट व्हाट ही वुड डू इफ यू वुड बी ए लिटरेट पर्सन नाउ अल्बर्ट एडवर्ड फॉरमैन गोइंग टू रिप्लाई टू हिम यू सी हाउ ही रिप्लाइड सो फॉरमैन रिप्लाइड विद एन एरिस्टोक्रेटिक स्माइल अगेन ऑन हिस फेस ही से I can surely tell you that sir if I knew how to read and how to write then today I would be the verger of St Peter Church which is located at Neville Square so like that the conversation was finished or end up between the manager and the verger so from the end of the story what i did comes in our mind that though he in present situation he was a successful businessman he has uh, uh, deposited a huge amount um, in his life if he remain as a verger then that 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 money he could never earn in his lifetime and uh, he was a salary drawer when he was a verger in st peters but after becoming a independent and successful businessman also after rising his uh, position and uh, after creating a sophisticated uh, uh, position in the society still he was longing for the same post where he has been working as a verger for the last 16 years so that um, that uh, that post that environment, that work still haunt in the mind of the verger and uh, here also one thing is very clear to us that maybe in somewhere though he believed like that education is not necessary for performing truly, uh, for, perform, for uh, giving the better service for the society that was the belief and thinking of the Albert Edward Foreman and his illiteracy never interrupted 
him for the success or for the sign in his life but to some extent he also felt that how the education is necessary if he was an educated person definitely he would be a virgin in the saint peter church so from this point of view it is very clear to us that so education is to some extent important in the life of the virgin also after all his success never give able to give him the complete satisfaction and happiness internally to him so my dear students like that the stories end up so hope you understand very well and try to read own self so for today i'm stopping here so on my next class i will go through in poetry section so for today thank you